Hey, it's a scotch test, dummies. <laughs> Woo! I got a blind box for Bart here. Boom! I doubt I do as well as Scotty Boy did with the Westland. Let's test it. Test it! Give me a hint, style. Negative style. Dang. Ah, we're in. You know, well, and the thing is, I actually I, I let it slip. This is a Saturday show. You know, it's a world whiskey. Yeah, yeah, but we do that. This anyway. one, this one, we do that. Yeah, anyway. but we shouldn't even do that. I don't know. Though. This one will be pretty apparent. Don't you kind of know though? I mean, when we're doing it, well, this one, as soon as you knows it, you'll probably know this isn't a bourbon. Hopefully, that's why I like doing the blind tasting. I mean, so. maybe it is a bourbon. Who knows? Yeah, just plan. Really, you did a mind mess with me. Is that the phrase? Right off the bat, I can tell it is uh, Jameson. No, I don't know. <laughs> so, wow. I was surprised by this one. I just picked it up. This has a memory. There's a memory a nugget or, here. A week or two ago. I have a memory nugget, but uh, as part of the course, I can't place said memory. Very sweet tropical notes. Yeah. Almost like a, well, is it the parish stuff, like the Glenlivet? Maybe Glenfiddich. a little bit. Fittick? Is it Fittick? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the Fittick's the pears. Hmm. Wow. Holy moly. Boy, is that an explosion of flavor. Juicy, ripe fruit. Mmm. With a finish that gives me all kinds of vanillas. Ooh, caramels. Strong, strong caramels. I think the malt characteristics are there. Yeah. Ooh, and then a little peach tangerine in the finish. The juicy fruits, the tropical fruits, the sweetness, the sugars, the caramels. Tangerine. A wow. little bit of stringency, like the dry powdered sugar on the finish, that sweetness that tails in. Great nose came off soon as I took the coin off. Wow. Yeah, Caramels, tons of tangerine in, creams, the, in the first part. Fruits. Peach. Malt. That's just amazing. Oh, yeah. And then it's in the finish where the caramels and the creams and the vanillas all sit. And then you get a little hint of the fruit again. Gosh, this is delicious. There's <laughs> nothing I could peg here. I have no idea what this is. Mm -hmm. I mean, none. If I was, if I was blind, I would guess maybe a Klein Leash, something along those, just See, with this, the tropical notes and some of okay. that. This is where you're way better than me. This is not a Scotch. Mm. Let me tell you that. Gotcha. It'll perplex gotcha. you here a little bit. So this is a uh, um, uh, from Taiwan. This is uh, the Vino Barrique. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, I mean, we'll keep talking here a little bit. The ABV, I should have looked at the ABV before we started. It is a little bit higher. I want to say maybe it's 45, 46%. Um, it's a non-age statement. Um, really? It is a malt. It is a single malt or a malt whiskey. Okay. It's a non-age statement. Boy, a lot of flavor here. Mm -hmm. NAS. Yeah. Mmm. Price range on this is, what do you think? Well, it's an NAS, but nowadays that doesn't mean anything. It could pop all the way to the 120s. Let's just say 70. Dalmore okay. King Alexander is an NAS at 250. Right. Good point. Good point. McAllen Rare Cask is an NAS at yes, 320. Yes, yes, yes. We could go all the way to those. <laughs> there's, there's some cheaper NASs in the 35s as well. Almost like a burnt caramel. So it's not a scotch. Well, we got to move to Ireland then. I mean, this is, I almost get, well, I almost get some of the triple distillation feel to it. The, uh, it definitely is very smooth, like I would get from a, from a single pot, triple distillation. Um... This would, if this was Irish, it would be the fruitiest Irish. Yes, I've had. yes. 
That's all I'd say. But you're right. You're right. The smoothness of it would almost lead to triple distillation. And then, but but you're right. I usually get the very very light and smooth just, and creams. Let's, let's show. Just look. I gotta know. I got to know. I've been to Taiwan. I've been to Ireland. Oh, really? Japan? Wow. <laughs> yeah. I would have never picked that. Uh, <laughs> the coffee malt whiskey. Wow. Yeah. I would have not gone there at all. Now, we've done the coffee grain. So the C-O-F-F-E-Y is one of the a type of steel. Right. Coffee uh, steel. It doesn't have anything to do with coffee, the drink. Nope. Uh, it, they, so they're using a coffee steel. There was a guy. What was his first name? Bud? Bud Coffee? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so this is the Nika coffee malt whiskey. They have the coffee grain. And then we've also done the Takatsuro, I think it's pure the Nika pure malt. Wow. But I was really surprised by this. This is $60, $65, I believe. Mm. 45% ABV. It's delicious, I think. Oh, it, it is? It, yeah, it's, it shot, it shot. And it was as soon as I, right when, at home, when I cracked the bottle, the first pour was as good as this one is. It was good from yeah. the get-go. So the, the coffee still is the traditional continuous still. Uh, normally used to produce grain whiskey. Uh, yeah, they're talking about how this whiskey has a lot of texture. Um, and spe uh, specially mm -hmm. developed for whiskey aficionados. This is really, really good. Boy, how do I get tangerine? I would actually say a 92. Mm. Wow. Um, 92. For you know, I would say you if you enjoy the fruit mm -hmm. coming in, if that is your sweet spot, the those fruity tropical flavors, you're going to be all over this. I'm going to go 93. It's so smooth. Mm -hmm. It's so creamy at the same time. And then all those little tangerines and the, the peach juice coming through. So I say 93. 92. You said very 92, delicious. and yeah. how much again was it? 60, 65 That is a very, very good price. And I love, again, the clean labeling that Nika does. I've seen it on the road before, like when I've been out of state, you know, in total and in stuff like that. This was the first time I'd seen it locally. So I picked it up. Actually, I'd seen it the week before, and I left it, and then I went back, and it was still there. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm getting that one for sure. And I'm glad I did. The, the, the thing is, though, the coffee grain... No pop, my, the coffee grain is very good as well. Maybe just a notch below this one. Well, I don't remember the coffee grain having all these tangerines. No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was quite as rich. Right. Quite as fruitful. Quite and as it's flavorful. an NAS. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's worth it. We live in a good world. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was funny. At least when I went to Taiwan, I was getting close. Mm -hmm. It was probably about 300 miles away from Japan. <laughs> But then you went Irish. And then I slid back to the Irish, to do, <laughs> but you're right. I don't, don't get the fruity stuff in the Irish, but it's that same clean, crisp, triple distillation kind of smoothness that moves through here. You know, the wow. old, well, some of the more aged Irish whiskeys. Um, I've got the Barry Crockett Middleton, but I don't think it's even as fruity as this one is. But there, there are, there's more fruits, more sweetness that shows up in that. But that's well, a $200 plus. Yeah, all I'm telling you is we live in a great whiskey world, world mm -hmm. right now. Because this is, wow. You, if you don't try other whiskeys, if you only drink bourbon, if you only drink scotch, and you're not trying other whiskeys from other parts of the world, you are missing out. Yes. Again, I will tell you, if you like those fruit tropical fruit flavors this is a must buy for you must mm -hmm. i mean this I is agree. i wouldn't say i would have not pegged this as that typical japanese um and i'm trying to say what's a typical japanese but what's that type of wood that they have that's there, mizanara, the mizanara um and where i get a lot of those delicate refinements and and uh even when we do the uh the, the Yamazaki 18 and how well that sherry and the plum comes through. And this is, um, I, I'll just stick with, if you love those tropical fruits, wow, go get this. Mm -hmm. So I would agree. I'm loving the whiskey world. Yep. Traveling dummy. Let's knock that out real quick. Chris, Chris Roth was at the High West Distillery, Park City, Utah. Mm. He's got coin 420. 
420. And he's got one of the Whiskey Tribe coins as well. He does. He got, that's the, the, the bear animal. Yeah, the bear eagle. It's a bear <laughs> and an eagle. We, when we first got it, we were like, oh, it looks like what a is wolverine. It? Yeah, what it's kind like of a animal bear. is it? has got claws. We weren't up on the spirit animal. I think it's the bear eagle. We kind of determined that if I had a spirit animal, it would be the giraffe, <laughs> which is probably true. And I don't know. Were, were you a badger? What were you? Did we come up with a spirit animal It was for a you? black panther. Was it? I thought it was like a little, like a, a little titmouse. <laughs> that's an actual show. mouse that's an actual mouse oh okay it's not dirty <laughs> it's spelled the same uh park city the uh high west distillery look at the setting it's in of course we've got snow on the barrel mm. sitting out there but um not necessarily mountainous but uh hilly hilly so looks very nice yeah. support us on patreon go to scotchtestdummies.com uh, we got Several, we got Glen Cairns, rocks glasses, shots glasses, hats, bumper stickers. Someday maybe a kilt. Dropper, or dropper sets that we use. A dummy kilt. We need to like put that front and center so people can see those. <laughs> you know what? I would say Actually, real quick while we're on this, though. The dropper set is a piece of finery. It is. Right. So I would say if you're new to whiskey, you don't need this. You don't want to slurp the water in. You should try some water, but you can use a straw and put it in. However... When you get to the point that you're like, you know what, because this is the first whiskey accoutrement that I actually, it looks like fine, almost nose up in the air stuff, but we use the heck out of it all the time. As soon as we got it, I was like, this is just good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just a nice little dropper and it looks good. And uh, so that's why when you were like, you know what, we need to get some with our name on there. I was like, mm -hmm. good call. It, well, and you know, we did an initial order. I think we ordered 25 of them. We've only got three left, I think. Mm. It's about, I mean, they're, they're not, they're not, they don't sell real They're a quick. little more expensive. They are. I think they're $85. Right. We have them on and the website. And you got a three piece because you got the Weeglin Karen with our logo on it. You got the handmade blown glass that has what the little pot still Made on it. Made in Scotland. Yes. And then a stave that has our Blue logo stave. burned in it yep. as well. Yep. And then they put a little, what do they call it? Tartar? Tartan? Tartan. Tartan. Tartar. We call Tartar it sauce. Tartar. Tartar. We call it plaid. <laughs> so. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Salon chat. Dummies. Dummies. Nika style. Love it.